Matt, the Mortgage Guy, Mortgage Mondays, episode 108, where I'm talking about combining a first and second mortgage. Matt, the Mortgage Guy, Mortgage Mondays, episode 108. I'm talking about combining a first and second mortgage. Getting quite a few calls on that nowadays, so I thought I'd make a video addressing a few of the questions, a few things to consider. A lot of folks out there uh, reach out. They've got a first and a second mortgage on their home. They're wondering, does it make sense to refi and combine them? Um, how is that done? Is it considered a cash out refi? Is it considered rate and term? And so just wanted to make a, a short little video addressing some of those questions. First off, um, like most things to do with refinances, it's really all math. And the best way to figure out if if something makes sense, reach out to a professional you trust who's not gonna try to sell you, is just gonna advise you and fill them in on the whole scenario. Here's my first mortgage, here's my second, here's the terms on both of them, here's what's going on in my life, how long I stand, plan on staying in the home, what's important to me, whether that's getting it paid off quick, whether that's lowering the monthly payment to have more cash flow, whatever that is, each specific person's scenario is gonna be different, and the best way to figure out whether or not it makes sense is to talk through it with somebody who can show you the numbers and say, okay, if we combine the first and the second, here's the rate, here's the total payment, here's what it looks like to what you're currently paying, here's how long it's gonna to take to pay off, all those things. Um, you can't really give blanket answers unless you dig into someone's personal scenario, so, so that's that. Um, common question I get, I got it today, and so it kind of sparked me to make this video, is when is it considered a cash out refinance and when is it considered a rate and term refi? If your first and your second were taken out at the same time and it's considered quote unquote purchase money, then you can refinance both of them and it's considered a rate and term refi. Now, a rate and term refi versus a cash out refi, the terms are a little bit better and so that's why somebody would wanna do a rate and term. If you bought your house in 2011 and then you took out a home equity line of credit from a credit union in 2014 and you're combining those two, that's considered a cash out refi because that second wasn't part of the purchase money. Um, so the rate's slightly higher, but still there's gonna be scenarios where that makes sense. Um, the seconds are generally adjustable. They're tied to indexes which are adjusting in the upwards direction. All indicators, anybody you talk to will tell you that um, these things are gonna adjust upwards, especially in the next couple years. So that's something to consider too. A lot of folks want to combine their first and their second to say I've got one fixed rate payment. They don't want a first payment of 1900 and a second payment of I don't know next year. Um, it's much better to say, okay, 2300 all in, one mortgage. I know I can afford that. There's not gonna be any surprises. You know, 2019, 2020, 2021 is not gonna be a different mortgage payment because my second is adjusting upwards. So any questions at all, let's go over your personal scenario. Feel free to reach out. Happy to help. Matt, the mortgage guy. Until next time. Five, two, nine. Seven six zero zero nine one six five two nine seven six zero zero. Experienced and professional. When you're ready to apply, call Matt, the mortgage guy. Call Matt, the mortgage guy. When you're ready to apply, call Matt, the mortgage guy, or visit MattTheMortgageGuy.com. Visit MattTheMortgageGuy.com